Hey y'all, thanks for joining me in this week's market update with your favorite mortgage guy, John B. A little bit different format than usual, but let me know what you think. Big news this week I'm excited to tell you about. Before we jump into that, let's start with the housing market. Inventory was down a little bit, about 4% week over week, which means we averaged about 20,000 more sales than we did new listings last week. Not necessarily a bad thing for total sales and kind of expected this time of year, but we will want to see that trend change as we get into the spring season. The National Association of Home Builders also came out with a really interesting report kind of showing how mortgage rates have affected the affordability of homes in this country. Now, I don't 100 percent agree with some of the debt to income ratio calculations they use, but this is a really good indicator with how mortgage rates have changed this market. Let's take a look at this chart. At the beginning of the year, we started at 3.22% and went all the way up to a peak of 7.08. That means in less than a year, more than 18 million households lost eligibility for a median price house. Hopefully, we'll see this trend reverse as rates come down this year. But check out this chart to see a positive trend. We're up 62% over last year's inventory. Now, still down from 2019, but making a lot of headway. Some more good news, we saw consumer housing confidence rise, which we haven't seen in a long time. This is mostly due to drops in prices that we've seen in certain markets. And the number of people saying this is a good time to buy is still low, but it's starting to trend up. We also had a big wig in the Federal Reserve say that it's probably time to start cutting back on some of these rate increases. Harker says he prefers a 0.25% increase as opposed to 0.5 or 0.75 that we've seen over the last several months. A slowdown in rate increases would be a breath of fresh air for markets and mortgage rates, so fingers crossed the Federal Reserve sticks with that sentiment. And the big news to back up that possibility is inflation coming down. Now, even though 6.5% is still well over target for our inflation rate, and we've still got plenty of work to do, we're well below the 7.1% we had last month, and we're continuing the trend of coming down off of this high inflation. Now, of course, this is important because the lower the inflation rate gets, the better chances we have of the Federal Reserve not increasing rates quite as quickly. And if we continue that trend over the next several months, we could see these rate increases stop altogether. So that's really good news for consumer debt, like credit cards, auto loans. But it's the CPI reports over the next few months that's really going to determine the direction the Federal Reserve is going to take over the course of this year. And all that positive news has really helped mortgage rates this week. Well, that's it for this week. Be sure to follow me for more updates and comment if you have any questions.